Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at adding some ICC profiles to our actual designs within FlexiPrint. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos. And we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back into the tutorial here. Now, what we want to do to add ICC profiles, we first want to download one. Now, this is going to vary depending on your machine and your um, uh, model, obviously. So what I would recommend, our support, this is a machine you've got, which one do they recommend? And then you just download that one. Now, to locate it, I'm going to quickly show you what we want to do. So we want to go to the website cncu.co.za. You can simply type that in your URL, press enter and go there or try Google it. Then under the home page, we want to scroll down till we find the printers area. And then we've got two options to set up our um, or locate our ICC profiles from. The first one is a direct to film DFT textile printer. And the next one is direct to film UV DTF printer. So you can go, I think this one has one option. This one has a few. So I'm going to go with the top one for now. But like I said, our support, which one they recommend. And under there, if we scroll down, we have options. But you'll see on top here, we've got folder called um, the HD. Okay, but yeah, in any case, just look for the one that says ICC profile. Select that and then it will open another folder. We scroll down and you can see we've got the different options. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go with the top one for the DTF film. It's a 720 by 1080. So I'm going to click that. And once you click it, it will start your download for you and add it in your download folder. Now, I've already moved mine to another folder, so you can do the same if you want it. But I've just put mine on another folder there. So we've got the color profile, so I know where to locate it. And then to actually set it, I'm going to go back into the program. Now, I'm going to set mine up for both printers, but I'll probably just show you for the first one. So I have the first one selected. I'm going to right click and go to job or default job properties again, like we did in the previous video. So with that selected, I'm going to click and um, go to the third tab, which is our color management. So just open there. I'm going to click that. And then we're going to have a few options here. Now, what first thing we want to do is we're going to go on top here to no color correction we want to set that to use color correction now if you only have the option no color correction that means you don't have any profiles then to do that we want to go to output profile here the second option and click add then what you're going to do is navigate to where you saved your file to where if it's your downloads you just go there otherwise um i've navigated to the uh, place where i've put my icc profile say open and then um Okay, currently I already have one, so I'm going to re, uh, override it. In your case, don't worry, you can just add it. It shouldn't ask you anything. Then we'll have this little exclamation mark warning signs here. You might have one on every single one of these, but as soon as you click apply, it should remove the first two and only leave the one on the color mode. Now the color mode, we're going to have to set up chokes and so forth, but we'll do that in another video so we can do some demonstrations of what's the difference between choke and bleed. But yeah, otherwise, if we have um, this one saying, yeah, use color correction and we have our output file the same as the file we downloaded, then we should be fine. We don't have to play with these, but if you want it, you could. But just keep in mind, your results might vary a bit. But if you understand what you're doing, go ahead. So I'm going to say, okay, and just quickly do the same for the next printer. Right click, default job, go to color management. And now it should be under our list already. So I'm going to say use color correction. It's already selected our profile. Say apply and OK. And there we go. Now both our printers has color correction or ICC profile. And uh, this will help make our final product look more accurate. But otherwise, before we move on, if we head here to software training.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to make that for you. 
but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers